Yo guys, we have another example here on how to have column headings in our truth table. So um, just in case um, you're a bit confused on how come we have this as a translation for this argument, just watch the video how to translate prepositions to prepositional forms. And whenever you're still confused on how come we have this as our first columns in this truth table you may also watch my video entitled how to start writing a truth table right i mean the concepts are discussed there because in this video again we will be discussing on how to have the column headings in our truth table okay so just in my just like in my previous previous video for this um for this topic we have to check first the innermost propositional forms for us to know what the next column heading is. Now, the, the innermost propositional form here would be this implication here. That's R implies not G. As noted in my previous example, it says there that before, um, before we can really be sure on having this as the next column heading we have to check if we have all um, prepositions um, being presented now in this case we are to operate um, r and not g with the operation implication now we have a column for r but we don't have yet a column for not g so it gives us a hint that we are not ready yet for this um, for this proposition because we need to have a column for not G. Uh -huh. There. Now that we have a column for not G, we can now have the column heading R implies not g there so next would be um as noted in my other video um entitled how to how to write column heading um it will be an outward direction this time so from this innermost propositional form the next would be considering not r with the uh, operation and so let's check if we can really write that down that's um r implies not g and not r now no problem with this conjunct here because it's already in this column now this would be um operated with a not r column notice that we still don't have a not r column so gives us a hint still that we have to have first a not r column so you see that's how you write column headings this is how you complete column headings be sure that you're really presenting all the possible propositional forms that we have at hand there you go not r now we have a not r therefore we are now ready for this hypothesis here since we have um, a little space here we may instead um uh yeah we may indicate this one right here the hypothesis to be letter h there h so of course you have their space with you just please write in their hypothesis all right so that's um r implies not g and not r there you go now are we ready to operate this h with a conclusion g definitely because we already have a column for g so that would become in this case um, H or hypothesis, the entire R implies not G and not R implies 
the conclusion letter G. There you go. So that's how you write column headings for Archer table. So just in case um, you want to know how to complete the table, I mean the cells here in this truth table, I have a video entitled how to complete the truth table. It will be discussed there on how to complete truth table. All right. So see you in my next video, guys. Thanks for watching.